quick word with the BBC. Sure. Um, First of all, just tell me about um, the, the concern for coronavirus as you see it, and with a government that are not, you haven't seen any cases yet in Cyprus. No, not yet. Uh, we're one of the, I think, just as in Malta that have not uh, yet recorded a confirmed case. Um, there is uh, concern, obviously, but um, everybody stresses the fact that we should not, should not be panicking. Um, ECNDC has mentioned that uh, we should be expecting a rise in the number of cases in the next few days or weeks. Um, preparedness is important. Uh, each country should prepare and follow the strict guidelines of ECNDC and uh, the World Health Organization, which as a country in Cyprus we ha have been doing that for the past uh, five weeks. Different governments have different abilities to test for coronavirus. Do you worry at all about the reliability, not just for Cyprus, but across Europe, in really getting a sense of how many people have coronavirus? No, um, I'm not concerned about that because um, um, all the laboratories are um, certified for carrying out the, the, the required test. Mm -hmm. So I'm not concerned about the validity of the tests. Um, what may be of concern is that a number of people may have, uh, let's say, caught the virus but they're not aware of it. They may be past this influenza. Um, and uh, that's why in the next few days, uh, we may see a substantial rise in the number of cases uh, in the whole of Europe. And one of the big issues today is about whether countries and governments can share uh, medical resources, mm -hmm. equipment. I know the Dutch, for example, aren't happy about that. We want Germany yeah. to be able to you know, import more from there. Give me your sense of What's happening well, actually, in that meeting? Actually, it's, it's, uh, that's, uh, that's of major concern to us because being a small country, we don't have the purchasing uh, power, let's say, um, and uh, we're in a disadvantageous position. And that's why we, two weeks ago, we, we raised that concern of joy procurement. And I was pleased to find out that uh, on Monday, um, they will receive their offers. So it's a, time of, it's a matter of time in the next uh, few days or weeks. Um, for, um, for the joint procurement to be completed and uh, all the countries in Europe um, get the required uh, supplies that we've, we've asked for in the last uh, two weeks. But it doesn't help that Germany and France are, are stopping their, their exports. If, if indeed they proceed with this, which uh, my understanding is that that won't happen, but if indeed they will proceed with this uh, measure, yes, it's a problem. And, um, it's a time uh, for, I mean, uh, all my colleagues have stressed the, the fact that uh, it's a matter to show our solidarity. So this is a, t a, cr a crucial test to actually, um, uh, in, in practice, uh, uh, show what we, what we mean in theory. Final question. What do you think is, is the most positive, productive thing to come out of the meeting today? I think the fact that all of us shared um, our experiences and what we've been uh, implementing so far, um, it's comforting for me to find out that all the countries, although we knew that through the uh, shared platform as, that uh, we share, that um, all the countries are taking the necessary steps to contain, because containment is the most critical issue right now, and preparedness in case this becomes a pandemic, how to uh, be as prepared as possible. Thank you. Thank you.